Hi there. Welcome to YouTube chicken roasting video number 2387, give or take a few. A few years ago, I came across Dory Greenspan's take on the classic French recipe of poulet au pot, which is simply chicken in a pot. I've made this dish a number of times since then, and the results have been good every time. It's easy to make, and the chicken cooks fast in a cast iron Dutch oven. What makes this different from other roast chicken recipes is the way the cast iron pot is sealed tight with a dough seal to seal in all the liquid as the chicken bakes. This is steaming the chicken, and it braises the meat and cooks it all the way down to the bone, so the chicken is juicy and not dried out, especially the breast meat. This is one of those dishes that are easy enough for anyone to make, and once you've tried this, you're likely to be coming back to it again and again. What's more, you'll get to see the look on your guests' faces when you tell them you'll need a hammer and chisel to make this dish, or at least something similar to a chisel. We start by preheating the oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. We then place a cast iron Dutch oven on the stove top and slowly heat it until it's hot enough to sear the chicken. Most of those videos and recipes for this dish use an enamel Dutch oven, but I find it even better to use a bare iron pot, because nothing in the world is better for searing meat than hot iron. We'll also be slicing some large pieces of bread, along with sliced potatoes, celery, two onions, some sliced garlic, and half of a lemon. All of this will add flavor to the chicken as it cooks. We also prepare a simple dough by mixing flour and water. We'll roll out the dough in a little bit. And now it's time to prepare the chicken. One thing I like about this recipe is we can use a big heavy roaster chicken and it will still cook just fine. After removing the giblets and any accessories, we stuff the chicken with lemon, onions, and garlic. Then, we tie the legs together to keep the stuffing inside the bird. From here, we give the top and the bottom a generous coating of salt, pepper, and garlic powder. And then, we get to have some fun. By now, the cast iron pot is hot enough to sear the chicken. We brown all sides of the chicken, then lift it out of the pot. The chicken and the vegetables will release a lot of liquid as they cook, and I've had the best results by using thick bread as a trivet for the chicken to rest. We add some white wine to the pot to give it some flavor and also to help steam the bird. Now we roll the dough into a long sausage and use the dough to seal the pot. This will trap all the steam inside the pot and keep it from escaping and it will be good enough to braise even a big heavy chicken like this. into the oven it goes. Oh. 
Although this pot is being opened in the kitchen, you may want to take it out of the oven and place it on the table before your guests. That way, they can watch as you break the seal and uncover the pot. This will let you put on a show as you reveal this. And voila! definitely proves this is fall off the bone. And just how well did this chicken cook? The dark meat is falling off the bones. While the vegetables have absorbed the juices from the chicken so well, they melt in your mouth and taste delicious. But the chicken itself is anything but dry, as you can see when we serve the white meat. There are at least a thousand different ways to cook chicken, and if I were asked to choose, this would be in my top three. <laughs> it's a lot of fun to prepare, it gives you a chance to show off to your guests, and it produces a juicy, tender, and absolutely delicious chicken you won't soon forget. I've often said, if your kitchen doesn't have a cast iron pan, then you need at least one. The first should be a cast iron skillet, but after this, Take the time to find and use a cast iron Dutch oven. It's one of the most essential cooking tools you could possibly have, but even if you were to use it for no other reason than to make chicken in a pot, it would still be worth it. Thank you for watching. By the way, you can eat these uh, hardened parts, but they're really not very tasty. They taste just like a very dry and rather bland pretzel. Very hard. <laughs>